Hello. I am back. I am going to let y'all know what my Black Friday list is. Some of it anyway, not all of it. Y'all can't know all my secrets, rookie. So, um, so this won't be 30 minutes long. Um, I just want to touch on a few things. I am getting back on my fitness. I fell off. Y'all know I had surgery in uh, July, so I couldn't work out. But um, I just been kind of chilling, you know. Um, I love food, eating what I want. So, you know, I fell off the wagon, and now I got to get back on. So, um, Tabitha is doing a, I think it's a 30-day challenge. But, of course, I'm going to be on my challenge for more than 30 days until I decide to fall off again. Hopefully, it won't be for too long. Um... I'm not going to start my working out until next week, though. My kids are on a uh, two-week fall break, so I'm going to sleep in and get all the rest and relaxation that I can before the hustle starts back when they go back to school and I get up early, got to get my son to school, football, yada, yada, yada. But I have started back on my healthy eating. Um, it takes time. So, you know, I ain't no spring chicken. I'm 41 years old. Um, I can't just jump back into stuff like I used to. So how I do it is, especially when I let my eating get out of control and I kind of fall off my healthy eating, um, I give myself about two weeks, a week to two weeks to get my eating back on track because your your stomach do have to adjust to your new way of eating, especially if you're kind of out of control or you eat larger portions at one time, it takes a little bit for your for your stomach to get used to not eating as much food or heavy foods, so to say. And so, um, you know, my body just can't take, you know, the jumping back into working out and the change in eating as well anymore. I get like stupid sick headache and, and the whole nine when I do that so I've been stopped doing that so I get my eating back on track first then once that gets back on track and my stomach gets adjusted then I go into my workout and I pretty much hit it hard you know my body jumps right back into it your body don't forget you know once it starts back so you know, that's, uh, you know, I'm sore for about a week or so for the first week or so. But, um, you know, I jump right back into it. So starting off and this is not no small task for me because I'm not a water drinker. And also, um, I only drink when I'm thirsty or when I'm eating. So it's hard for me to get down a lot of water. And most of the time when I'm thirsty like that, that means I'm dehydrated. So I'm, you know, my mouth is dry. I'm thirsty. You know, I just don't get enough. But I don't like to, I don't want to get myself like that. So I try to just drink and drink. And so I got this huge orange juice bottle, which is 59 ounces. And my goal is to drink this whole 59 ounces by the time I go to bed. Um, in which I did yesterday. The day before that, um, I wasn't so, it, it wasn't a success. <laughs> I probably drank about half, but yesterday I did drink. I drank all except for about maybe a half a cup, a cup to a half a cup. I do have um, lemon wedges and um, cucumber slices in here to make it a little bit more interesting for me. Sometimes what I do too is um, I will make um, my fruit infused waters but in order for them to really be sweet now that I'm used to drinking water when I get back into drinking water it doesn't have to be really sweet and what I do is I make it the night before and let it sit in the refrigerator overnight just to kind of you know so the fruit can uh, infuse into the water but if you do it the same day it's really not going to have any taste you know it takes time for the fruit to infuse into the water so normally by 24 hours um, it'll be good and if you leave it longer 
it'll really be uh, sweet. So sometimes I do that too. Um, so yeah, so I got a little bit more to go before I'm done and I go to bed really late. So yeah, so anyway, this is five minutes into. So my Black Friday list, the part that I'm willing to share with y'all, I'm not, hopefully, I'm not gonna be buying a lot of hair products. I have a lot of hair products. I counted moisturizers that I have. I think I have about, I don't know. I think I have about six that I haven't even opened or used yet. Not to mention the ones that I have used and haven't finished. That's why my goal is to, before I open up another one, is to either halfway use, especially if it's a big jar, you know, use that one jar at least for um, about two months before I move on to the next moisturizer because I'm, I'm, I was noticing that I was just using my stuff one time and because I had so much, um, it'll be almost a year before I get back to it again. You know, so that's what I'm doing with um, my moisturizers is I'm using them for at least two months or if it's... Um, a really small jar j until it finishes. If it's, you know, four ounces or less, I'ma just use it until it finished, which I did with my R&B moisturizer. That was three and a half ounces and it lasted me about two months. Um, so I'm not gonna be buying, hopefully, I won't be like, ooh, 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 I wanna try, you know, um, too many moist, too many products and that's really my, downfall is moisturizers. I love trying different moisturizers. I like conditioners too, but I found that when I find the perfect deep conditioner, I constantly grab for that all the time. Um, because we all know when you get a bad deep conditioner, it just like messes up your whole routine. So anywho, um, I am I am going to be looking at a lot of body products though because I love body products. So anywho, my um my before I get into who I'm going to be looking at to buy from, I have a game plan because last year the sales were not good. I ended up wasting like I think it was like um 70 80 bucks on one company uh None of the products, well, it was only two that I bought and it was Curl Junkie and they just did not work out for me. I had to end up giving them away. Um, so that was a huge chunk of money that ended up going bad. <laughs> that didn't work. But um, they did have a decent sale. Actually, one of the products, it was almost like I got it for free. The um, protein conditioner, it was just too harsh of a protein um, for me to use so I, I gave it to my daughter, but I'm not sure even if she used it or not and the deep conditioner the I think it was the rehab or it, It's the really nice um, leave-in slash deep conditioner. I ended up sending that to my aunt and she loved it It was just knotting up my hair like crazy um, And I tried it soaking wet hair half wet hair deep conditioner leave-in it just did not work um, so yeah, but, um, the sales were not good. And last year was my first year doing Black Friday, um, uh, with natural hair products or, you know, other than toys and stuff like that for my kids. That was my first year and it just was not all that good. But anywho, um, so my game plan is unless it's 30% off or more, I will not be buying or if they're doing a 20% off plus free shipping, then that's a pretty good deal because I'm saving money on the shipping and off of the product. But if it's just like 20%, you know, I mean, cause that to me is not really, that ain't no sale. It, it's just not, I could get that anytime. Um, also, if it's like a company like Bass that don't run sales often, of course, I'm a, you know, if it's something I really want or one of my HGs or staples, so to say, um, I will buy because they don't run sales very often. So that is a good deal based on that company. But other than that, 
if it's something that I could get anytime or it's not a good deal, I'm going to just leave it. Um, I'm going after good deals this year. So um, the companies that um, I'm looking to buy for is Whipped Up Wonderful. She's a um, bath um, uh, maker, product maker, and I have done uh, reviews on her bath bombs and her bubble bars. Um, Zurich, I do have a review on their um, whipped soap. I really like their whipped soap. I do want to try their, um, I want to get another whipped soap and I do want to try their uh, body butters. I'm not sure if they're having a sale or not, but we'll see. If not, then I'm going to just leave it and try it another time. Uh, Save a soap, Cherry Tree Lane soap. Um, she has my the face soaps that I use. Um, I want to try Annabelle's Perfect Blends. I've been looking at her for the past couple of months. Um, and I want to try her Blueberry Deep Conditioner and her, um, I think it's her moisturizer as well. Um, of course, uh, cream and cocoa. I'm going to see what kind of sale she's having. Um, Basque, I'm not sure. They're doing, she's doing an opening of um, a grand opening again on October 13th. So if she has good deals on October 13th, then I won't need anything because I still have a deep conditioner from last Black Friday that I didn't use the cacao bark. Um, I still have a brand new um, vanilla whiskey and one that I only used, I think it was once or twice. Um, I have a yam nectar that I use once. So um, mostly I'm looking for the whipped custard because I use that on my son. I really like that on him. I don't like changing up his um, moisturizers. So I really like that. And if I could get it on sale, then that would be good. Um, but yeah, if she has a, a good sale for October, then it won't be a need for me to buy anything for Black Friday. Of course, Texting Me Natural, um, she had a buy one, get one free on Thanksgiving Day. And you know, I jumped on that. I bought, I think I got like six bottles of conditioner, three for me and three for my daughter. And I still have one from last Black Friday that I haven't even, it's still in the bubble wrap. And I just ordered three of her new conditioners that she's supposed to be coming out with in November um, that I tested from her that I haven't even cracked open because I just got them. Pinky Blue, um, I have to upload that review. I already recorded it, just gotta upload it. Her um, toner, um, what else do I wanna try? Of course, Bubble Bistro, uh, any sale from her. Normally, you know, she does these flash sales and then mostly like 20, 25% off. So I'ma definitely hop on her. Um, because I seem to always miss her sales because she just like just post them. She doesn't advertise. So um, I'm going to be buying from them. Uh, Naturally, the cosmetics, um, the juicy elixir and the juicy yummy. Uh, if she has a sale, I'm going to definitely stock up on that because um, I haven't seen too many sales from them either. Um, and they are pretty expensive. Lush, of course, um, I heard they have really good Black Friday or Cyber Monday sales. And y'all know I love that R&B moisturizer, so I'm definitely going to be trying to get my hands on that. Um, Bath and Body Works, they have these, um, I don't use any products out of there, but they have, um, a, I was in an Elster and she sent me these uh, plug-in air fresheners and they smell so good. So I want to get some more of the... Um, the air for the fresheners uh i have this last one that and it's already plugged in so i need to get some more probably before then um who else she sent it um i had them on my radar last year but because i bought the curl junkie and it was other things that i i wanted to get 
that I actually use all the time. Um, I kind of left it, but I will be getting a few she, she scented products that um, I've been looking to try. Uh, who else am I going to share with you? Um, I think that's about it. Not that I really need anything. So yeah. Um, yeah, so Whipped Up Wonderful, Zurich Save a Soul, Cherry Tree Lane, Annabelle's Perfect Blend, Cream and Cocoa, Texture Me Natural, Maybe Basque, Pinky Blue, Bubble Bistro, Naturalista Cosmetics, um, She Scented Lush, Bath and Body Works, and I do have a few new companies that I'm not going to share um, that I want to try. Uh, that I'm looking to try anyway. We'll see if they have any sales. But um, that is my Black Friday list for the most part for now any <laughs> anyway. But um, of course, I probably won't be getting everything that I want off this list. This would be a lot of money. And also, you know, I got to do my Christmas shopping for my kitties. And they are quite expensive. But um, yeah, that's it. So um I would love to hear what you have planned for uh, Black Friday, if you have anything planned. I know a lot of the ladies uh, in the group have been sharing what they are looking to buy on Black Friday. So hopefully this year, some of these uh, some of these product makers will have some really good sales. And also, don't forget to check out the One Stop Shop Um places as well because they also some of them also run very good sales um as well and if you want to check out all of the sales um fire opal 94 has a facebook page it's called the curly quest where she lists every sale that is going on that you know she comes across uh you can find every sale that, that there is probably out there on her page. So if you're on Facebook, check her out. Uh, it's called The Curly Quest. So thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please leave your comments in the box below. Don't forget to share the video on Google Plus and give me a thumbs up. Peace.